Iraqi security forces have clashed with the militants on the outskirts of Dakrit, north of Baghdad. This comes a day after the airstrikes forced the Islamic militants to flee from a strategic dam in the country's north. CCTV's Sean Caleb joins us live from Erbil. And Sean, uh, what more can you tell us? Well, uh, Elaine, I think what we're seeing now is more and more uh, the forces that have been in this area. First, it was the uh, Kurdish Peshmerga, now the Iraqi army, taking the fight to the IS, mil IS uh, militants. This is something that we haven't seen uh, in a couple of months here. Uh, very significant moving into the Tikrit area. Of course, this is the home of former Iraqi uh, strongman Saddam Hussein. Uh, ISIS moved into that area back on June 11th, so they've had control of that region for more than two months. We know that the Iraqi forces moved in within about 10 kilometers. There's been some pretty fierce fighting by uh, all information coming out of there. But one thing we are seeing from the uh, IS insurgents that they are leaving behind a trail of roadside bombs, also booby-trapping buildings uh, once they move on. Uh, if we look a little bit further to the north, we can tell you a little bit more about the uh, activity that's going on around the Mo Mo Mosul Dam area. Uh, that, that area is now fully controlled by uh, the uh, uh, Kurdish... Peshmerga. However, the IS militants are just downstream in the city of Mosul. They still control uh, that area, and there's some speculation that those militants could be regrouping in that area, trying to plan uh, some way to move out, maybe regroup uh, and lash out in some other uh, fashion. But clearly, the U.S.-led airstrikes, whether they be with bombers, fighter jets, or drone aircraft, have had a significant impact in blunting uh, the IS attacks on the area, and it has allowed the Iraqi forces to go on the offensive and try to push these uh, IS militants back toward the border uh, into Syria. Elaine? And Sean, you went to the front lines where the Peshmerga have been fighting IS. What was that like? Yeah, we were in an area that is a very oil-rich area, and this is an area that's very attractive to, to the IS. Uh, we went in there with the Peshmerga today. Uh, we were about two and a half kilometers uh, from the IS militants. They were just uh, beyond a hill where we, are, where we were. There had been significant fighting going on there the past a number of days, but the Peshmerga quite emboldened now simply because of those U.S. attacks. Basically, any time IS militants go out in any kind of armor that they took, armor that the United States left behind in 2011 when they left Iraq. Anytime they go out now, the uh, drones or aircraft flying overhead can target these aircraft and take them out uh, quite easily. So what we're hearing from the Peshmerga is now the uh, IS are going out in civilian clothes, civilian vehicles, uh, and they're trying to make uh, probes into the area where the Peshmerga are, trying to find the, perhaps the weakest link to see if they can somehow go back on the offensive. But right now, the Peshmerga quite emboldened. Uh, they have very, very old weapons. Uh, but uh, the fact that they are now working in conjunction with the U.S., the bombs falling from above, uh, they've made a significant move in just a number of days since those U.S. airstrikes began.